All right, folks, what is going on? This is uh, Friday heading into the weekend. And uh, Arthur Blank just came out in an interview and said that Bill Belichick was not, uh, he was not offered the job for the coaching position for the Atlanta Falcons. What does this mean? Well, I'll tell you this. You can't trust the media nowadays, especially like the big media. Independent media, most of the time we just react to what they say. And in the back of my mind, I never really thought that Bill Belichick was the guy. I mean, I made a whole video about it that it would have been insane to put this guy, make this guy the head coach. And with that being said, Arthur Blank probably was like, yeah, this ain't going to work. So with that being said, they did not offer him the job. Cool. So what does it mean for Bill Belichick? Well, don't necessarily want to make the whole video about this, but there, I, Bill Belichick's time is possibly up. Somebody may come in and try to hire him at, you know, uh, after the, the next season is over or whatever the case may be, but personally, if it was me, I wouldn't touch the guy. We all know the situation with Bill Belichick. Yes, he is extremely intelligent when it comes to the game of football. He also has six rings. He has experience, but ever since Tom Brady left, he hasn't been the same. So, at the end of the day, I think other teams see that. Some people are actually kind of reluctant to his coaching ways. That's what uh, I think Robert Gronkowski said. So, yeah. Arthur Blank probably saw that too and he said, yeah, I'm good. When with Raheem Morris, uh, Terry Fontenot, shout out to him. He was spearheading the project based on what he said on hiring a head coach. And I still feel that we got the right coach. Did we get the best coach? Uh, Jalen Ramsey think we did. But for me, I don't know if we got the best coach, but I feel like we definitely got the right coach for the job. And with that being said, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep moving. Whatever the case may be with the quarterback position, will they move up to get their quarterback, which I, I, I feel like that's what they should do. You go out and move up and get that generational talent. Will they trade for Justin Fields? Kind of similar to what I was saying in my last podcast episode. If they do, the scenario would be, you know, you don't give up that first round pick. You give up them two second rounds and keep it moving. We don't know what they're going to do. But I feel like we're in a good spot with Raheem Morris. I think we're better off than what Bill Belichick wanted. He probably wanted so much stuff and so many things to change. Said, and then, you know, said that he was willing to work with Terry Fondo. I believe it if I was able to see it, but I don't think that's the case. He's just, he's just one of those guys that want control of so much. And after Tom Brady left, it just, it just didn't work. You know, um, my former uh, podcast partner, um, Bill's fourth, wherever he is, I hope he's doing well. But, you know, he said it a long time ago because he's a Patriots fan. He said it was not Bill Belichick. It was Tom Brady. And he said this for years. I remember him saying this back before we went to the Super Bowl and played against the Patriots. He was saying it for a long time. And, I, and, you know, so he knew what the deal was. I think a lot of people in New England knew it as well. But with that being said, Arthur Blake said it out of his mouth. He, he never was offered the job. There were talks, but he never was offered the job. And it makes sense because I think if he was offered, I think Bill Belichick would have probably took the job. I mean, I, you know, that, that kind of makes sense at the end of the day. But we move forward. Look, it is the middle of February. They already said what they're going to do. They're about to get their scouts in there. The scouts are about to come in and see who did well. They probably got them in already. Looking at the senior bowl, you know, go look at some uh, uh, some tape, some un uh, you know some hidden gems that they may find, like a uh, Zach with Harrison, a guy that not many people was talking about. Maybe you'll find somebody like that in a different position. And the Falcons are going to go to the combine, go into the draft, go into free agency. And we're, we're, we're just going to keep it moving. You know, a 72-year-old coach, yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? He has all the experience. But we want the, we want the younger guy that is more relatable to the team. So, with that being said, I am going to head to the house. I'm going to chill out for a little bit. Do, some little, do a little bit of moving and shaking this weekend. 
and uh, just relax. You know, we made it to another week, uh, to another weekend, and uh, I have no complaints. Hopefully, you guys don't have any complaints either. I'm going to get out of here. You guys, enjoy your weekend. If anything comes up, I definitely will be talking about it, and I'll see you guys then. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.